Well, hello, I'm David Freeman Webb. Is that really in the Bible? Who has not heard of the, in the news recently, the Charleston, South Carolina killing? Dylan Roof walked into a black church, a church of African Americans, white boy, killed nine people at a church, for pity's sakes. And it was interesting that some of the things they said that, you know, he stayed for about an hour and he stayed for the Bible study. And he made the comment that the people were so nice that he nearly talked himself out of it. Now, I want to deal with a question today that I think a lot of religious people have, but may be afraid to ask. And, but yet it's running through their minds. In fact, I think this question is running through a lot of people's minds, whether you're religious or not. And the question is, why? Why, God, why didn't, why did you allow, why did you allow this to happen? Couldn't you have stopped Dylan Roof from committing this horrendous crime against innocent people at a church? Why didn't you stop? Why didn't you do something, God? Now, this is the question I want to try to answer today. And I'm going to give you the answer right now. Let's not beat around the bush here. Let's get right to the answer as to why God didn't stop this crime. Here it is. God refuses to change the consequences of our decision making. Let me repeat that. God refuses to change the consequences of our decision making. Now, let me try to explain how it works. Okay, let me ask you a question. What is the consequences of smoking three packs of cigarettes for 40 years? What's the consequences? Well, the consequences is lung cancer, emphysema. That's the consequences you're probably going to die, you know, especially if you get that. Now, I know there are people, you know, George Burns, who smoke cigar every day or whatever, or, you know, and live to be 90, however old he lived to be. I forget how much, but, you know, there's, there's people that sort of, maybe their immune system is stronger than others. But, you know, smoking three packs of cigarettes for 40 years is not a good thing. Now, you know, if a person comes to me and says, you know, I have lung cancer, emphysema, would you pray for me that God would heal me? You know, I suppose I could pray for that person, anoint that person, I suppose. But listen to me. I will have no faith that God will heal you. Why? Because God refuses to change the circumstances, the consequences of our decision making. Now, what if God healed all smokers who got emphysema and lung cancer? Well, if God did that, in other words, if he dealt with the consequences, you would never learn that smoking is harmful to your health. Some people never learn it, period. I mean, they, even though it's on the pack of cigarettes, they still don't learn it. What is the consequences of two teenagers in the back seat of a car in the heat of passion getting ready to make love? Is that really in the Bible? What you think is in the Bible is not.